In this lesson, we are going to talk about data acquisition using the basic DACMX functions. We'll first talk about how to set up channels and tasks in Measurement and Automation Explorer, or MAX. MAX, the Measurement and Automation Explorer, is the tool we use to configure our devices for use with LabVIEW. It has a tree-like hierarchy where we see our system, data neighborhood, and our devices and interfaces. In the Devices and Interfaces section, if we right-click and select Create New, we will see a screen that lists all of the devices. If we wish, we could create a simulated device which would allow us to select one of the many cards that NI has to offer. Once we select one, we would go through a series of screens similar to what we saw with the DAC Assistant Express VI. For now though, we won't create one as our MyDAC is already listed under the devices and interfaces. If we click on it, we can see some new options in the right pane. Let's explore the toolbar first. If we were to click on the Properties tab, we would be able to see properties relevant to that device. As we can see, our MyDAC has none, but other devices may. More importantly, we have access to the test panels. The test panels are a particularly important utility, which allow us to verify our device is working properly and our senses are connected correctly. Since we have nothing connected, we will only see noise when we press Start. Notice also that we have the ability within our test panel to set the analog output values for each analog output if present. As well, we can test the digital I.O. In this case, we can choose a port, specify if each line in that port is either an input or an output. By default, our I.O. are defined as inputs. If we were to press Start, we would see the states of all the digital lines. If all the lines were set as outputs, we would have the ability to set each line as high or low individually. Finally, there is the Counter I.O. tab. This allows us to set and configure the counter channels. In this case, we can choose whether we are counting or generating pulse trains. We can choose which channel we are accessing. As well, we can specify the frequency and duty cycle of the pulse train we are generating. The next option in the toolbar is to reset the device, followed by Create Task, which we will return to in a moment. Configure TED sensors, which are automatically calibrated sensors. View the device pinouts, which is a particularly important ability. Clicking on this button will bring us to the help file for our particular device. This allows us to see a viewable and printable pin mapping of our device. In this lesson, we learned about the Measurement and Automation Explorer. We learned how to explore the properties of our DAC device, as well as how to quickly test it using test panels. Finally, we learned where to find useful information on how to connect our device by using the device pinout diagram.